What is going on everyone? Welcome guys to a brand new video on the channel. So a lot has been going on with the streaming community lately with a lot of sexual allegations towards streamers, a lot of streamers being taken off of their platforms. And now we actually have some really, really big controversy. So it all started with XQC who went on to his stream on Twitch and he basically said, and he called out Dr. Lupo specifically, but he called out a lot of streamers saying that they're getting paid to do charity streams. So then a lot of people took to Twitter, a lot of people took to Twitch, to YouTube. One Reddit user, specifically no cookie for you, responded to this and basically said, damn, kind of doesn't make Lupo seem as wholesome. It seems like he has charity streams for St. Jude's all the time. Hope this isn't the case for him. And then he put an edit. I'm not mad if Lupo is getting paid. Just say you are. I thought he was doing a lot of streams because he has some sort of tie with St. Jude's. Like I said, hope this isn't the case for him. In which Dr. Lupo then came back and actually responded in which he said from an r slash live stream fail post on reddit regarding xqc stating that a majority of streamers get paid to do charity streams i've never been paid to raise money for saint jude just wanted to be sure that was clear nyman then also responded saying feeling like i need to clear the air too i get paid to do my charity streams not only did i disclose this on the stream but i donated the money they paid me to the cause plus another one thousand dollars out of pocket so obviously this brought up a lot of controversy a lot of streamers responding to this Nyman then also went on to say the witch hunt from this might lead to less streamers doing charity and thus less money being raised for good causes. Even without payment, streamers might now not want to risk looking bad. And with pay, reimbursement money is a lot less than the money raised. Bit of a shame. XQC then went on to actually respond to Dr. Lupo saying the topic went out of control and some of it was severely out of context. But I think most people understand the top of the line charities with a good charity navigator score don't operate this way as far as I know. No. In which case, this actually brought about Ninja's wife, Jessica Blevins, and she responded on Twitter saying, this guy always has some trash to say. I've literally never heard of a single streamer getting paid to raise money, and per FTC rules, if they were, it would have to be easily known to the public, in which case it often is. XQC then responded to her saying, this is rich coming from you of all people. Incredible you found the time to half-ass listen to the clip and give your take no one asked about in between your virtual signaling post. Jessica then responded to his comment saying, ooh, I was waiting for your response. Enjoy your day, QVC. Hope to see you doing a fundraiser in the future since you have so much to say about them. XQC then responded saying, of course I was going to answer, sweetie. I was eating breakfast, fueling up for a productive day. Not very relatable, I know. You should teach me a thing or two about fundraisers. I'm sure you know a thing or two about raising funds. I mean, these Gucci bags don't pay for themselves. And at this point, Ninja actually got involved. Where he said, you have zero clue the amount of work Jess does for our family and our business and when she wants to buy a Gucci bag, she can because she worked for it. We have donated millions to charity and raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. Stop being a piece of shit. Jessica then also added saying, X, it's very clear you don't respect women or really anyone with, again, the trash I've heard you spew. If you want to be sexist and act like because I'm married to a successful man then it makes me a do-nothing mooching woman, that's your choice to be that kind of person. And then XQC came back saying the lack of self-awareness is insane, Jessica. Your husband is an icon of our sphere. Does that sink in? It has nothing to do with you being a woman. How dare you use the sexism card in such a trivial interaction? Lumping in actual victims of sexism, especially in gaming. Yikes. Now at this point, another big Twitter account jumped in saying this calls for XQC plus Adept versus Ninja and Jay Ghosty 2v2 Black Ops 3 for charity. Pretty wild guys, a very, very heated debate between between these two or multiple really streamers, it, it definitely was insane seeing them go back and forth between each other. However, these tweets seem to have been deleted by now. Uh, so obviously it, it really gave them all a bad look and it definitely tore a lot of ties between people. So uh, obviously we're gonna wait to see how this goes and how it goes down. But of course, stay tuned guys, because I'm gonna keep you all updated on what's going on with not only this issue, but a lot of other issues on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, on every streaming platform available. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching a bit of a longer video, but have a good one guys. Peace.